everyone, it's Stephanie from My Porch Prints and we are back with Christmas Page Pockets number four. And if you've done um, our regular Page Pockets number four, this goes together the same way, so it should be familiar for you. Um, but to start, I printed everything on cardstock and it just prints one-sided so you don't have to print anything on the back. And I went ahead and cut out all the pieces and scored all of my edges. So um, anywhere there's a folding line, I scored it and then folded it and kind of went along it um, with a bone folder, just like that. And then I flipped it back the other way, just so it will um, fold really nicely open and close for us. So to start with, we are going to locate these three small panels. Uh, they look like this. And let's see if I can find all of them. And they have these tabs on them. You can see I folded them already, but there they are. And then they also have corresponding um, back pieces that match them. So we're gonna locate those as well. And they have um, these, this little tab on one end and this folded piece on the other. And once you have all of those located, we're gonna go ahead and um, just set the back pieces aside for now. And we're gonna start with these guys. And um, I haven't cut out my circles yet. I just wanted to give you a quick look at how I do that. So I have a one and a half inch circle punch. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put it on here like this so I can see what I'm doing and punch that little half circle out. And I'll repeat that for all of these. And then we're gonna go ahead and attach the back pieces to the front pieces. So find your corresponding piece. And um, I've got these so that they fold like this. And this one, it looks different on this side. So if you want to match the back with you know the corresponding piece for that, you can do that as well. It's up to you. I think I will do that. I think I like the way that looks. So what I'm going to do is just glue this, take this piece here and just glue this flap down like this. And what that's gonna do is just give us a nice um, backing to our piece so that this isn't white right here. It doesn't show white. I just think that gives it more of a finished look. And then the next thing we're gonna do is take this piece and fold all these tabs just like that. And we're gonna apply some glue each tab and we are going to um, place this over the top and I'll show you what this maybe it'd be better to do it this way we're going to place it place it over the top of this piece it probably was a better way to do this sorry there we go and what that's gonna do is give us a nice little pocket here and then it's also gonna leave this tab free. And this is what we're gonna to use to attach it to our, our page pocket. And we're gonna repeat that for all these pieces. Okay, and now that those are finished, we're gonna go ahead and put them into our page pocket. So um, locate this piece with this little lock on it and flip it over and make sure it's right side up. So this is the top, this is the bottom. And what we're gonna do is just go ahead and place these inside of here. And you can decide kind of how you want them to look, which one's on top, which one's on bottom. Um, but I'm going to um, use these half circles as the front. So these go in front. I'm gonna do something like this. Yeah, I like that. And what you wanna do is just kind of line them up where you want them to go. So this one will line with the top and this one with the bottom. So this middle piece is really just the one you wanna move around a little bit. And once you kind of have it looking the way you want, go ahead and just glue them in. And to do that, we're gonna use this little tab here and apply some glue. Oh, and um, if you want to ink the edges of your pieces with some distress ink, now would be a good time to do that before you glue everything down. Just a reminder for that. All right, and you want to make sure that this is right on the fold. Just give that a little fold there, make sure it's going to work. And then you're 
next piece. And again, you may want to just double check that it's where you want it. I think that'll work right, right about there. Okay, and if those look good, then we're gonna go ahead and attach our panel to cover those up. And just locate this panel with this um, white shape on it. And um, again, now's a good time to ink some edges so that um, this white part won't show when you are finished with your piece. I'm gonna go ahead and get some ink and do that to show you what that looks like. And just a little ink on those edges to hide that white part so it's not so glaringly obvious. Okay, so now we're gonna attach our panel. And you can see that um, that helps hide this little white edge right here. And if you want to, you can glue around the top and the side and the bottom and leave this side open to have a secret little tuck spot, but I'm gonna go ahead and just glue mine down. And it's possible when you're finished, you may have just a little like white edge showing here. If that's the case, you can add ink to hide that or you can just cut it off. Um, mine seems to be aligning pretty well right now, so. I don't have anything to cut off right there. All right, and then we're gonna flip these guys over, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and locate our other panel. Oops. And this one's going to attach right here, same concept. And again, if you want, you can ink along this edge. I'm not gonna bother doing that since I already showed you that, but you can fold that backward and ink that edge if you want to. And same thing, if you want to just, you know, glue the top and side and bottom to make a pocket, you can do that as well. But I'm going to just glue it straight on here. And you'll find that this is um, a bit of a bulky piece. And um, if that is the case, you may need to you know, tie a ribbon around it to keep it closed. But um, since I usually want to insert mine into a journal, I'll just sew, sew it in like a signature of pages. And then it doesn't seem to have as much trouble with that being bulky. So, okay, now we've got our panels on, we're gonna go ahead and add our pockets. So let's start with the front cover. You can decide, um, we've got two pockets for this shape here, and you can decide which one you like for your front cover. I think I'm gonna go with this one. And just glue along the um, sides and the bottom to create your pocket. And stay as close to the edge as you can to leave room for your ephemera pieces. And the pocket's slightly smaller than the panel, so you might want to leave just a small border around the side. All right, and then we're gonna locate this pocket. And same thing, we're just gonna glue around the top and side and bottom here to leave room for a pocket. Okay, and then this pocket is kind of a, a shape that we've cut out here. And we're gonna do the same thing, just glue along the side and the bottom. And if, if it's um, sticking out just a little bit past your page, you know, you can always trim a little bit off the edge if you need to. And I'm just trying to align this with the pattern so that everything matches up. And then on top of this, I'm going to make a little pocket with this little piece here. And you can decide, you know, which way you want it. I think this looks good. And again, I'll leave a little border on the side and the bottom. Okay, and the last pocket we have is on the back. Okay, so now comes the fun part. We've made our page pocket and we get to decorate it. Um, oh, but before we do that, I should probably mention a couple things. Um, some of the pieces that come with the kit uh, are these ephemera pieces here and this little notebook. And I've cut out the papers for it and I'm just going to align them just like that. 
And then this is the notebook topper. And what you do is you just fold that in half and attach it. And I'm going to go ahead and use a stapler for that. and then that just becomes a little notepad. And we'll go ahead and cut some of these pieces out and start decorating. Okay, so we finished our page pocket number four for Christmas, and this is what it should look like when you're all done or something similar. You can always change things up. In fact, I encourage people to kind of um, just change up the way that things are glued on, your design, add things to it, make it your own. But it should look similar to this. And you can use it on its own if you do. It's kind of bulky, so you may want to tie a ribbon around it, or you can put it into a journal. And it would look something like this. You could just sew it into your journal along with your signature of pages. And there we go. Okay, everyone, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye.